Hi, I'm Tony from Hill House Brasserie. Uh, here with me today I've got the Natufia machine. This is the first time I've ever used a vertical farm or grown herbs in a, in a restaurant. So it's been a big learning curve. Uh, so I'm just going to go through a couple of the different herbs and what we use them for today so, so you can see what we're doing. Um, so here today we've got 11 herbs. Uh, we've, we've got different herbs ranging from dry herbs like thyme, which will take around two to three months to, to grow. We've got um, fresh herbs like basil, which takes 25 to 35 days. Um, we've got really cool things like lemon balm. Lemon balm is actually used in one of our cocktails. It's got a real, real nice uh, flavour to it, quite a unique flavour. Well, we've also got a few plants in here. These are chilli plants. So bird's eye uh, chilli plants. This one's red and this one's green. Uh, these take actually around 80 to 90 days. So they've been in here already around 60 days over the next month, month and a half. We expect to see little chilies from, from here. But um, obviously you can pick the chilies off and they will regrow chilies. So this is like an all round uh, machine. So there's no season coming in or out. You can, this is optimal uh, growing temperatures and lighting for all year. I think that the restaurant seems today, uh, you know, really evaluate. I think people want to be, you know, close to the food. They want to understand the food. They want to know where it's coming from. And, and I think that restaurants need to, to bring back, you know, this type of feeling. You know. I think we go away from the industrial and people want to find authenticity again. You know. and, um, and what we bring with Natufia, um, so we bring the fresh product that are right there for the client. Uh, but I think we bring much more than that. Uh, we bring that, that people can you know, enjoy and see um, you know, plant growing. And that, I think, is something very important for, for people to understand this concept of, uh, of growing and for the chef and you know, all the people working in the restaurant. Uh, because for me, it's sustainability, you know, in addition to eating you know, healthy and, you know, food that are you know, full of nutrients, it's also, you know, understand the, the concept of nature. So to summarize really, we, you know, we bring back the fresh food, we bring back the experience of, of growing food, and, uh, and that I think is, is important for, for now and for the future generation. That's what I mean. So for restaurants, uh, today we have tested over a hundred types of plants. So I would say it's more you know, the imagination of the chef, you know, what they really want to grow there. Um, but today, you know, we have you know, we grow basil. But basil, you know, as a as a person, basil, you think about the green leaves uh, that you see everywhere. Uh, but for example, basil, you have so many types of basil. So we grow purple basil and you know the, the classic basil and Thai basil. So I think what we bring there, we bring such a variety, even on one crop that you think is a single one, but we can you know, offer you know, a batch of, of, of the same time that have different taste, different texture, uh, different perfume and everything like that. So we've got three different types of basil in here. We've got lemon basil, we've got a red basil, and then we've got a fresh green basil. This fresh green basil is what we're using in our pesto for our burrata dish. So we're blending this together with some pine nuts, some roasted garlic and parmesan and a little bit of olive oil, blending it down into a paste, adding a little bit of olive oil just to make it pliable and putting that over our head and tomato and burrata starter.